for once at fair or cruise vacation enables travelers to see multiple destinations across the globe while enjoying most of the ship's onboard amenities, although what's including each cruise line's standard price does fluctuate. To help cruisers planning a Disney Cruise Line cruise, we put together this complete guide outlining everything that's included on Disney Cruise, plus what will cost you extra. That way, you don't return home with sticker shock up next. Welcome aboard, cruisers. I'm Don B from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you stay one step ahead of everyone else on board. Now, if you have any questions about cruising or Disney Cruise Line in particular, please leave them in the comment section below as we answer every single question. At first glance, Disney Cruise Line can be perceived as more expensive than other mainstream cruise lines. However, one could argue that while the price tag up front is more costly, Disney does include certain amenities that other cruise lines charge you extra for. Standard inclusions such as room accommodations, onboard activities, food and beverages, and entertainment are the basics. But Disney Cruise Line puts an extra touch of magic on everything they do. Disney's known for doing things a little bit differently. In fact, this is more important than ever, as cruise lines are charging for add-ons and extras more so now than they have in previous years. While this is also true for some aspects of Disney Cruise Line, the cruise line does pride itself on their service and going the extra mile. Therefore, guests can still have a magical vacation without spending too much extra money on board. Like all cruise lines, the upfront cruise fare includes the cost of your stateroom throughout your cruise. All Disney cruise ships offer a variety of stateroom categories. These options range from interior rooms all the way up to multi-bedroom suites. Of course, the cost of your cruise vacation will depend heavily on which type of stateroom category you choose. Disney cruise ship staterooms, excluding a few select number of interior staterooms across the fleet, have split bathrooms. A split bathroom setup is a bathroom where a shower and tub combo and sink are in one room, while there's a separate bathroom area that offers a sink and a toilet. Built with families in mind, this split bathroom setup is a game changer compared to other mainstream cruise lines. When traveling with small children, this is a lifesaver for the bedtime routine. Further, as Disney Imagineers continue to keep families in mind, there is a curtain in all state rooms separating the bed area from the couch TV area. This gives the adults a closed off space to relax while the kids are asleep. Overall, Disney cruise ships offer many stateroom options that will fit any needs. Be sure to research which category is best for your family for your next Disney cruise. Now, if you need help planning your Disney cruise, you're in luck. While Heidi and I are not travel agents, we have partnered with MEI Travel. They're the official travel partner of Eat Sleep Cruise. If you need help planning your Disney cruise, or any cruise for that matter, the travel professionals at MEI Travel are there to help. Make sure to click our exclusive link in the description down below that will take you to MEI Travel's latest cruise deals and promotions and request your free no obligation quote. Many popular cruise lines are adding more and more specialty dining restaurants that are an upcharge. Plus, as many have pointed out, we've seen a decline in the quality of the complimentary dining on many cruise lines. Disney Cruise Lines has bucked these trends and stayed true to its roots. Apart from the two adults only dining restaurants, all main dining room options are part of your cruise fare. This even includes room service. Yes, there's free room service available on Disney Cruise Line 24 seven. This is a huge perk that incurs a fee on many other cruise lines nowadays. Disney Cruise Line executes dinner a bit differently too with a rotational dining service. Each ship has three complimentary themed restaurants. Rotating between the venues, guests have the opportunity to dine at different restaurants every night. On longer cruises, guests will visit each restaurant multiple times, but the menus will change. Your dining service team will also rotate with you through the restaurants. This helps the staff get to know you, your preferences, and your dining styles. Additionally, one main dining room per day is open for a sit down breakfast, and typically lunch is served in one of the main dining room on sea days or late ports of call. Be sure to check the Disney Cruise Line app for times and associated restaurants for your particular cruise. We would also say that the food quality in the main dining room is more akin to a premium cruise line, such as Princess Cruises or Celebrity Cruises, and a notch above those like Carnival Cruises or Norwegian Cruise Line. 
But of course, there's more than just a sit-down restaurant on your Disney cruise ship. Casual dining includes a buffet on each ship, as well as poolside dining options. The buffets, the Marceline Market on Disney Wish, and Cabanas on the other four ships offer a diverse variety of options from basic kid selections to unique international cuisine for breakfast and lunch. Poolside dining options include standard quick service fare with the likes of pizza, burgers, sandwiches, and chicken tenders on the menu. Disney Cruise Line's newest ship, Disney Wish, takes poolside food to the next level, offering a taco and burrito stand, as well as barbecue. Of course, the most important part of poolside food is the soft serve ice cream station. Adults only specialty dining restaurants are available on all Disney ships too. This gives adults an opportunity to experience fine dining while the kids enjoy the kids club. But this specialty dining will cost you extra. These restaurants are not part of your cruise fare. Unlike some of the competition, soft drinks are included in your Disney cruise fare. Additional beverages such as iced tea, lemonades, and a variety of juices and basic coffee and tea options are also complimentary. Further, Disney Cruise Line offers free Coca-Cola products to their cruisers, including Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, and some flavors of vitamin water. Coke products are complimentary on the pool deck, in the buffet, and in the main dining rooms. Now, if you're an avid soda drinker, this can be a huge cost saver, as most other cruise lines require individual purchases or soda package purchases. While bottled water is not included, there are water refill stations throughout your ship. So you can bring a refillable water bottle, such as a Stanley or a Yeti, and refill those water bottles throughout your cruise. That way you always stay hydrated. There is no shortage of fun on a Disney cruise ship either. There's a schedule of complimentary activities available from sunup to well after the sun goes down to ensure all guests are having a great time. All Disney ships have a pool deck with various pools, hot tubs, and loungers for cruisers to enjoy. Not only are swimming pools available on every ship, splash pads are available on every Disney ship for even the youngest cruisers, including those still in diapers. This is a significant difference from most cruise lines, as they often do not offer any aquatic activities for children who are not potty trained. Still, due to US Coast Guard regulations, children that are not potty trained are not allowed in any onboard swimming pools. Further, all Disney cruise ships offer at least one water slide with some ships offering multiple. Disney Wish even features the first attraction at sea, the Aqua Mouse. The Funnel Vision, Disney's spot for all outdoor movies, plays Disney and Pixar movies around the clock for guests to enjoy. If your idea of a magical vacation is soaking up the Caribbean sun, be sure to grab a spot here on a sea day. While there's plenty for the kids to enjoy, all Disney ships feature an adults only section of the pool deck as well. This area has upgraded loungers, pools, and hot tubs for those looking for some quiet time. Poolside entertainment, such as live music and deck parties are happening throughout the cruise too, and you will not want to miss them. You might even see some of your favorite Disney characters. Sports courts, a jogging track, and a full gym are available fleet-wide, while sports simulators and mini golf are on select Disney ships. Not to mention, there's a movie theater on each ship showing current Disney movies that are in theaters back home. The Disney activity staff offer entertainment for all interests during the voyage. Onboard events like trivia, game shows, karaoke, scavenger hunts, drawing and cooking classes, and towel making classes are available at no additional fee. The Daily Navigator app will tell you times and locations for all activities. Even if you don't participate, some events are worth watching. Disney separates some of these activities between family friendly and 18 plus for those adults who wish to enjoy some of these activities without the kids. There's also character meet and greets daily. While there won't be as many characters as in the Disney parks, there are ample opportunities to meet Mickey and his friends, various Disney princesses, and more. Depending on the ship or the sailing, you might also be able to meet characters from Frozen, Marvel, or even Star Wars. While Disney Cruise Line offers a plethora of onboard activities, they don't skimp on nightly entertainment either. Disney cruise ships feature Broadway caliber nightly shows, such as Disney's Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, Frozen, and more. In the main theater of your ship, other nightly shows include original productions incorporating various Disney songs and characters. Other nightly entertainment may include headliner acts, such as comedians, live music, 
magicians, and more. Pirate Night is a signature event held on all Disney ships except for Alaska sailings. It's perhaps one of the most fun activities at sea, even for us big kids. On Pirate Night, dinner features a pirate-themed menu. Special characters such as Captain Jack Sparrow and Captain Hook are available for character meet and greets. Even Mickey and his friends wear special pirate-themed outfits, and there's a party on the pool deck that includes the only fireworks at sea. And a little insider tip here, the fireworks are often lit from the starboard side of the ship. So that's the right side of the ship when looking forward. Disney's kids clubs shine when compared to other mainstream cruise lines. Like most cruise lines, these supervised youth programs are part of the cruise fair for children ages three to 17. Disney ships also offer open houses for one or more youth areas throughout the cruise. This gives children the opportunity to experience what clubs have to offer, even if they don't want to be left alone in them. Disney's Oceaneer Club and Oceaneer Lab are the areas designed for children ages 3 to 10. Here, highly trained Disney youth activity staff engage children in age-based activities. The Oceaneer Clubs are themed to the likes of Star Wars, Toy Story, Princesses, and more. Edge is a supervised club for tweens ages 11 to 14, while Vibe is a supervised club for ages 15 to 17. These clubs provide a place for tweens and teens to have fun with access to video games, TVs, computers, and other daily guided activities, such as dance parties, trivia, scavenger hunts, and more. Lastly, It's a Small World Nursery is a nursery for children ages six months to three years old, although this does come at an hourly upcharge. Although cruises are known for including a lot and are of fantastic value, there are still extras on board that are not included in your cruise fare. Yes, unfortunately, it's not all fairies and pixie dust. Of course, none of these additions are necessary to have a great vacation, but maybe things you want to include in your budget. Alcoholic beverages are not part of the cruise fare. While Disney ships offer a multitude of fantastically themed bars, any beer, wine, cocktails, and spirits will come at an upcharge. Additionally, specialty coffees, lattes, espressos, and other similar drinks will cost extra. All coffee bars offer a punch card for a free coffee after the purchase of five coffees. So if you're an avid coffee drinker like Heidi and I, be sure to ask for this card. Canned soda, bottled water, and specialty mocktails or smoothies are also an additional charge. As mentioned previously, basic drip coffee and fountain sodas are free. Disney Cruise Line doesn't offer an unlimited drink package like many other cruise lines but it does offer small deals such as beer and wine packages depending on the amount guests order. A drink of the day is also available in alcoholic and non-alcoholic forms at a cheaper price as well. Gratuities are additional service charges that are not part of your cruise fare. These charges are split amongst the Disney Cruise Line staff that made your vacation great. These tips serve as a means of thanking them for their hard work. These additional fees are a per person per day amount charged to every guest on board. Guests can prepay these fees or have them added to their onboard account at the conclusion of the cruise. Currently for standard rooms, the gratuity charge is $14.50 per person per day, whereas concierge and suite state rooms are charged $15.50 per person per day. For any crew members that made your trip extra special, guests of course can tip extra in addition to these standard charges. Though most dining options are included in the upfront cruise fare, some optional restaurants will come with a charge. Each Disney ship has adults only specialty dining restaurants. Palo is found on all ships in the fleet, while Disney Fantasy and Disney Dream offer an additional dining venue, Remy, with Disney Wish offering a second restaurant on Shantae. These fine dining options have either prefix or a la carte menus along with top notch service. And honestly, they come with a pretty hefty price tag as well. When compared to the competition, the specialty dining at Disney cruise ships are among the most expensive. Even with that said, these restaurants do require reservations and those fill up quickly. So if you'd like to dine at one of these restaurants, be sure to reserve your slot when your booking window opens. Other upcharge food items on Disney ships include popcorn and candy at Preludes outside of the theater, a sweet shop with specialty desserts, and the sports pub that offers appetizers like chicken wings. All of these items are priced a la carte. 
Cruising used to be the vacation where guests could unplug from the world, and this is still true to some extent, but Wi-Fi options on board have come a long way in recent years. Cruisers can use Disney Cruise Line's app to chat with family and friends on board without Wi-Fi. This chat feature is included in your cruise fare. Anything additional to the DCL app, such as streaming, using social media, and texting family and friends back on land will come at an additional cost. Disney offers a variety of Wi-Fi packages available for purchase with options for single day packages all the way to full cruise line packages. They're priced per device. And again, they're pretty pricey. And unlike other cruise lines, you're not able to prepay for Wi-Fi on Disney's website. So be sure to check the Wi-Fi rates once on board. While cruisers don't have to spend any additional money for entertainment, there are some activities that do cost extra. Activities like bingo, mixology classes, luxury shopping, and select fitness classes have associated upcharges. However, there are no casinos on Disney Cruise Line ships. Further, the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is an upcharge experience allowing children ages three to 12 to transform into their favorite princess or prince. All spa and salon services come at an additional fee on Disney Cruise Line. Senses Spa and Salon offer a variety of treatments such as massages, manicures, pedicures, facials, haircuts, and more. The rainforest room on each Disney ship includes heated loungers, hot tubs, saunas, steam rooms, ice rooms, aromatherapy showers, and more. To access this thermal suite, guests need to pre-purchase a pass for the duration of the cruise. Select day passes are available for purchase once on board the ship based on availability. While your Disney Cruise Line ship is your form of transportation to many amazing ports of call, activities at each port of call are not part of the cruise fare. Disney offers a variety of shore excursions at each location, which they call port adventures, or guests can book excursions through third-party retailers or private companies if you prefer. These excursions can range from full day experiences to something as simple as a walking tour or a cooking class. The longer the experience and the more intimate the experience, typically the more expensive it is. Pricing also varies depending on the port of call and the region of the world. Booking shore excursions in advance is highly recommended, but guests can head to the Port of Ventures desk once on board the ship to check for any last minute availability. Other onboard expenses that guests could incur are laundry services, should you want any clothes washed or pressed, photo packages, onboard celebrations such as room decor or specialty cakes, and of course, those Disney Cruise Line souvenirs. Overall, Disney Cruise Line offers so much as part of their standard cruise fare that guests certainly do not have to spend additional money once on board. While the initial cost of a Disney Cruise Line cruise is higher than other popular cruise lines, there are many included amenities that the competition does charge for. For those trying to stay on budget, we highly recommend researching beforehand what add-ons are important to you. This way you can plan, budget, and book accordingly so there aren't any surprises. Now, of course, if you have more questions about how to set up your budget for your Disney Cruise, don't worry, you're in luck. Right here on YouTube, we have a complete look of how much it really costs to go on a Disney Cruise. In that video, we break down the cost for all these different categories, from the cruise fare, to the upcharges, to shore excursions, we give you our expert advice on how much you should allocate for each one of those categories. That way you know the true cost of your Disney cruise and you don't return home with sticker shock.